Hi everybody. I'm Jennifer Merle Hampshire and this episode is brought to you by whispersandink.net. And I'm super excited because I had a fun idea with our truck. And then I got to thinking that I wanted to try something else. So I figured we'd do it together. You're gonna need the Ride With Me bundle because you're gonna need the die cuts. And here are the rest of the die cuts. There's, um, that's for the Christmas tree, that's for the balloons, those are tires and fenders, and this one's for the pumpkins, which I already have. I'm gonna walk you through what I did. That's the truck part. And we have that on our soft suede. And then the only other thing you're gonna need is some scrap pumpkin pie. And I cut out six of the pumpkins, but I have something cool to show you with that. Only using the Cajun craze, I'm gonna show you how to stamp the truck. And we're gonna go piece by piece. We'll do tires first. And yes, you could cut or you could die cut the tires out and make them black or make them another color. Whatever works for you is all good. Let's talk windshield and back window. Now, here, this will be better. The windshield's all one piece. The back window is the two pieces. We're going to do the windshield first. And then we're going to do the back windows there, trying to not get my head in the shot. And then we're going to talk about passenger door window and driver's door window. Squeaky chair today. Oh, wrong way. There's the one, and there's the other. And then the last thing that we have is the front, the front grill with the lights. So there's our stamping for that. The next thing we're going to stamp is the Happy Harvest here. And then I'm going to cut this off. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put Happy Harvest on the other side. And I thought about doing it backwards, but that's just too hard to read. Oh wait, we're not done. I have a fun little idea for you. We're going, you're gonna need your silicone mat for this and a half of a toothpick for the sign. But for the silicone mat, we're going to put, there's no pumpkins on that side. Let's put pumpkins on the opposite side. So we're going to pumpkin that on the silicone and then best as you can line it up and then press along. And then you have pumpkins on the other side. It's not gonna line up perfect, you guys. And trust me, nobody's going to know that it's not perfect. It's just going to be too cute for them to even notice, I promise. And there's the pumpkins, whoops, on the other side. All you need to do is wipe this with your chamois and you're all good. For me, I'm just going to toss it out of the way. 
And I'm gonna take my half a toothpick that I have, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue, just the multi-glue, and we're gonna need this multi-glue for the truck. But I wanna do this now because it needs to dry. And I'm gonna put that right over there. I also have just a few more pumpkins. But, ooh, I colored those. Let's color these real quick. There we go. And now we have all sorts of pumpkins for the back of the truck. Let's put the truck together. And I'm moving my coffee. The best way to do this truck is to, and I don't, I'm sorry you guys, I didn't realize that all this was out of the shot. There we go. Best way to do the truck is to fold all the little tab parts. These are all your glue pieces. Those, and then for this one, you're gonna wanna use your nail because there's a lot of, there's, that's your bed liner there. At least that's what mine looks like in my truck. And then you're gonna fold that. And your tabs by your windows, fold those down. Your hood tabs and your front grill tabs, all that gets folded down. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is from the top of your truck, you wanna create your back window. So you're gonna fold that. And then we're going to fold the bed part up. So, um, mountain and then valley. And then you want to do the same thing with your back bumper. Fold that. And then your windshield. And then your hood. And then your front fender. Or your grill. Pick an end, front or back, that's really the best way to start. Um, and it doesn't matter which way. Go with one side, work on to the other. Keeping in mind that really what you need to do here is match up your bottom pieces here and then the other parts will fall together, unless you don't hold your finger there long enough. There we go. And then you really do need to hold it for a second, or two, or maybe even three, and then you go work on the other side. Same thing, A little bit of glue, and here's the thing, you don't want to go super crazy with the glue because then it just takes longer to dry. But obviously you need to have enough glue on there so that it holds. Do, 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 do. There's that. Lift up your back window so that you can get these two tabs. And these are pretty easy to go together. Squeezing here so that it lines up and then flip the truck over, holding your tabs. Pretty easy, usually. There we go. And then this, we're gonna also work one side to the other. I'm 
moving our fender, putting your glue on both sides, on both the bed of the truck and the rear of the truck. And then working from the fender of the truck like we did the front and line it up in the back like that. And then working on the bed. Hold that for a sec. And then move the fender on this side and do the same thing. There and there. Again, lining up that part first. Attaching and just keep flipping it around and working it. It's too cute not to do it, you guys. It takes a second and once you get going on it, it doesn't take too long, but it's too cute not to do. Too cute. You could put shimmer paint on the front lights, but let's decorate this one for our happy harvest theme. What we're gonna do is we're going to flip flop each of these sets of pumpkins, just like this. And we're gonna use mini dimensionals. And we're gonna use them at the bottom. And there is a reason why I'm putting them on the bottom and I'll, sh I'll explain that to you in a second. So line it up with the bottom of the stamped or the die cut image on three. of these and then you can take all of these little tabs off just like that and then you're going to offset these just a little bit but you want to keep the bottom the bottom so that it sits up like that same thing on the other two, and I know you can't see. There we go, so that it sits up. Come on. Just, oh, that one's not gonna sit up. Of course it's not gonna cooperate. There's always one that doesn't like to cooperate. And we wanna do this, well, that's all right, because that one will sit up in the middle is that we're going to take again our glue and we're gonna run a bead. One's gonna go on one side. This one can go on, throwing things around now. This one can go on the other side. Just like that. And that's basically attaching to the fender but then this one, we're gonna put glue on the bottom and we're gonna put it in the middle. And yeah, you're gonna have to hold it there for a second, but let's talk about this Happy Harvest. Stamped on both sides, half of a toothpick. And it should be Yep, it is. It's attached pretty good, all right? Now, if you're doing this for kids, you don't want to use a toothpick. And I get that. Or take the pointy end off of the toothpick because I know that like my kid and my brothers would have been playing swords with the Happy Harvest. I'm just saying. It'll happen. But then what we're gonna do is we're going to put some glue on the toothpick because that's also 
gonna go butt it up against the truck just like that. So there's all of our pumpkins and our happy harvest. Whoops, just like this one. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I love comments. And yes, I did color that. Like, subscribe, and comment. Um, check it out on my blog for all the other information. Have a great day getting crafty, you guys. And thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye.